This is what everyone's talking about, the queue for the queue. Just before lunchtime, entry was paused for six hours. As Southwark Park, the start of the official queue, reached capacity. But it didn't dampen spirits. We're actually in a queue to get our wristbands. We haven't received them yet, so we're sort of queuing for the queue for the next bit. As long as it takes. It's that simple. As long as it takes. I was born 953 and I've been, she's been my queen all my life. So I think I can wait now a few more hours, can't I? I'm willing to wait that long. As long as it takes. Absolutely. As long as it takes, we came here, we paid the tribute and then go home. But for those who were able to join the proper queue, there was a wait of up to 14 hours today before people could pay their respects to the Queen. Among members of the public, this famous face, David Beckham, who queued like everybody else. For many people, though, the strangers they've been standing next to for hours have now become firm friends. This group only met when they joined the queue in the early hours of the morning. Just laughing at how long we were standing here, weren't we? Then we found out they're from Wimbledon, so we started talking about the tennis. They're from Manchester. She's on her day off. <laughs> Going back to work tomorrow. <laughs> it sounds like you made friends with a happy little group of people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, a lot. A lot of laughing. A lot of standing still, but it's been good. Yeah. We lost it at six o'clock because we had to stand for almost two hours without moving. But we picked each other up with encouragement, you know, laughter and eating, <laughs> running off to the loos, that kind of thing. So, yeah, it's all good. But while new friendship groups bond over selfies, others united in their love for the Queen, making the trip from Yorkshire, Northern Ireland and Kent. I think that has been the most lovely yeah. thing about the whole time that, that we've been here. Yeah. We just time passed really quickly. Yeah. It hasn't, felt like, hasn't felt like seven hours at all. It's been Lots really, of really good. Lots of laughs. Lots yes. of laughing. Yes. It's been absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah really it's good. It's been the best bit so far. Yeah. Obviously the best bit still to come. But yeah. Yeah, it's been real fun. Yeah. Come to do this one thing that yeah. you probably never get an opportunity to do again. It's like yeah. a common it's something that we've all yeah. got yeah. in common. Yeah. You can feel it through the whole queue sorry, you yeah. can feel it through the whole queue though when yeah. you go out and come back in, the camaraderie is just yeah. fantastic. I said it's a bit like the London Olympics. We've like brought London together yes. again and it's made people, strangers, talk to each other where we wouldn't normally. Where COVID sadly did mean that we couldn't get close to yeah. other people, we, we couldn't chat to our neighbours. Yeah. Now it's I feel like we've got more neighbours, more friends. Yeah. It's been good. Are you going to keep in touch? Are you going to share email Sitting addresses? Tim's for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're for his wife. We're not 100% about that. <laughs> we're waiting for his wife to reply at the moment. <laughs> Once the queuing is over, inside the hall, away from the hustle and bustle, a moment to reflect and a time to remember the Queen. Once outside, those leaving share their experiences and come together, sharing a moment in history many will never forget.